In this video, we are going to look at different types of networks. In our previous video, we had seen that there are different types of network topologies, how the different computers can be brought together to form different types of networks. Now these types of networks can also be assembled together and they can form larger networks. Now these networks can be categorized depending on their size, their complexity, their level of security and geographical range. So what we mean by size? Say there are just 10 systems in a network, there are 100 systems or there are 1000 systems. Then the size increases because they are spread over a large area. The protocols that are being used that will also di differ. Again complexity. So as we had seen in the network topology video itself, if you are using a simply a star topology, fair enough. If you are using bus topology, fair enough. But if you bring those two together, then the complexity of the topology increases. So we can categorize networks depending on their complexity. Then the level of security. When we are transmitting data, then that data can be read by systems that are not supposed to. I am sending from my workstation to somebody else's workstation but in between it is while traveling on that network on that communication channel somebody else could look into it on from using their system that is called hacking they could enter that system and see what is being transferred without our knowledge or the recipient knowledge so when we are transmitting data that is very uh, sensitive like our personal information or an organization's per, uh, information or information related to uh, national security then the level of security of that cable or that medium over which we are transmitting the data is very important so we can categorize the network depending on their level of security and last we can have some different types of networks depending on their geographical range so say there is a network in just this room or a network that is spread over this whole building or your whole school or your whole campus college or over the whole city that network is there. So that is the geographical range, the physical location or the diameter over which that network is spread. So that will determine a different type of network. For our purposes in this module, we are going to look at different types of network depending on the geographical range. In our next video, we will look at the simplest and the most smallest network that is the PAN, personal area network.